Mishnah training videos from Gemara Berurah. Opening a new Mishnah. Once you have logged in, this menu window will appear, which will offer you the option of either opening a new Mishnah or opening a saved file. We are going to open a new Mishnah. To do this, we first choose according to Seder, Seder Moed, and then according to Masechet, Masechet Sukkah, and then according to Perek, Perek Aleph. Then we click on the Open a New File button and the whole Perek now appears on the screen. Deleting text. Now that we have chosen a particular Perek, we can now delete the unnecessary text in order to leave us with the particular Mishnah that we want to learn. On the right hand side, click on the Divide button, which will open the Divide toolbar. In order to only have the first Mishnah on its own, First, we need to put the cursor before and after the Mishnah and click on the top divide button. Once we have divided the text, we can now delete the text before and after the Mishnah. To do so, we need to select some of the text in the section we wish to delete and then click on the select section button and then click on the delete button which now appears. We can repeat this process on any text we wish to delete. Saving the Mishnah in your file manager. Within about a minute of opening the text, the Save As menu window will appear prompting you to save this Mishnah in your file manager. The default name given to the file corresponds to its position in Shas. Here, for example, it's called Sukkah Peregalef. We recommend you give it a different name and we have decided to call this file training video. Like any file manager, we have the option of creating a new folder by clicking this button called create a new folder and we have called it training video. And that is where I'm saving this file. To save the file, do not click enter. Instead, click on this save file button and it will save the file according to the name we decided on in the folder we created in your personal file manager. Now we can clearly see the file name appearing on the top middle and next to it its position in Shas. Divide Classify Connect Comdat. Divide. Place the cursor before the DIN word and then click on the top Divide button and then we do the same after the DIN word. Psula, Marshir, Psula, etc. Then we do the same for the Omer words, Rabbi Yehuda, Beit Shammai, and Beit Hillel. Divide, classify, connect, comdat, classify. Clicking on the plus symbol to the right of each paragraph will bring up the comdat classification toolbar. Clicking on the particular paragraph and then clicking on the relevant symbol within the toolbar will classify and color code that paragraph according to the comdat role you wish to assign to it. Remember, the din words and names are the easiest to classify first. Usually the mikre comes before the din and so on. Divide, classify, connect, comdat, connect. In order to connect between the divided sections of the Mishnah, you need to click on the link this unit button that appears to the right of the section that appears underneath the section you wished to connect it to. And then click anywhere on that section. For example, the section Psula is connected to the section above, This moves the section below one tab inwards, and in the flowchart it connects the section to the section you have connected it to. As you progress, eventually the flowchart becomes fully developed. Increasing and decreasing font size and flowchart. You can easily increase or decrease the font size of the text or the size of the flowchart by clicking on the plus or minus signs on either side of the numbers that appear above the text 
or flowchart. Hiding text in flowchart. Clicking on the I symbol above the flowchart opens up a menu of elements that can be hidden. Clicking on the Text in Flowchart button will make the text in the flowchart disappear and leave an empty flowchart. Clicking on that button again will replace the text in the flowchart. Closing and opening a sub-window. On the same menu on the left-hand side, click on the Flowchart Window button and it will close the flowchart window. Clicking on the arrow that now appears on the left-hand side will reopen that window. Likewise, clicking on the eye symbol on the right-hand side above the text window will open a menu that includes the option to close the text window, like so. Clicking on the arrow that now appears on the right-hand side will reopen the text window. Export Mishnah to a Comdat table in internal word processor. Beyond the ability to format the Mishnah in text and flowchart mode, it is possible to export the Mishnah into a Comdat table in our internal word processor. Click on the file menu on the top right hand side that opens up a standard file menu and then click on the export Comdat to table button which will then open up a new tab on your browser and in it will appear the Mishnah broken up according to Comdat in a HTML table. This table is editable and can easily be used as the basis of a worksheet and likewise it can be copy pasted into Google Docs, Microsoft Word or any other word processor of your choice. Reference tools including Sage's Glossary and the Baltanura. Click on the Reference Tools button on the right hand side and it will open up a menu containing Sage's Glossary and the Baltanura. Clicking on the Baltanura button opens up a new window containing the Baltanura commentary which can be resized, enlarged or decreased using the plus or minus buttons. Likewise, one can copy some of the text and paste it into the Comdat table that we created previously. There are two ways to see the Sages Glossary. One is by clicking the Sages Glossary button on this menu. The other way is to click on the Show button on the right hand side and click on Sages which will highlight all the Sages that appear in the text. Clicking on a highlighted Sage will then open up the Sages Glossary.